friends. So good to see you today. Thank you so much for joining me for one hour of movement and sweat and most importantly, just time for you, right? So thank you so much for coming. Um, today, going to be pretty simple. We are doing a circuit workout. So we do circuit training. There's no reps to count. We've got a timer doing the work, keeping up our time. So it should be super simple. Um, we are looking at probably, as long as I can keep my mouth under control, we're looking at about under an hour of our time today. So we should be moving and grooving about 45 minutes of work, and um, it'll be awesome. So what we're doing today, actually, let's start with what we need today. So what we need today is two medium hand weights, and that's probably about it. Um, I have put on the equipment list also two heavy hand weights, that's really your option. Um, you may find that you don't need a heavier set. Um, I sort of experimented with the workout myself. I'm not sure I need a heavier set than medium. Um, so probably that's all you need, but if you have the handy, go ahead and grab yourself two heavier weights and just set them to the side just in case you want them. And that's it. We don't even need anything for the floor today. Super simple, right? So go ahead and grab your hand weights if you don't have them. I'll just talk you through the workout super quick. Um, we've already covered most of it, honestly. So um, we're doing the circuit workout. Um, this is kind of a nod to my normal Saturdays was I've taught circuit classes on Saturdays, either a circuit kickboxing class or a circuit weightlifting class for, gosh, probably creeping up at least three, if not four years now. So just a near and dear to my heart. I think it's a great way to train. Not what you want to do every day, but it's a great way to just kind of add some variety to your training. Um, so we're going to circuit class. Um, we are adding cardio today, which I know is like, what? Because I am not a not your cardio girl. Mostly just because of the limitations in my knees. I'm very limited to, to what cardio I can do. Um, and cardio is kind of, I'm not going to say easy, but it's more available for you to do on your own. So I usually don't um, incorporate that too much. Um, but wanted to throw it in today. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to alternate. We've got eight total exercises. So we're going to do our cardio and our lower body as one exercise. So that's going to be a combination. And then we're going to alternate that with upper body exercises. And we're going to be alternating movements. So instead of doing two bicep curls, we're going to do one at a time, alternating. So that's why I say you might be able to go heavier because, you know, if you've done any sort of lifting before, um, lifting two weights at once is harder than one weight at a time. So, you might be able to go a little bit heavier. Um, I'm not going to say tremendously heavier, but you know, if you have 10s and 12s and you normally do 10s with your bicep curls, you might be able to do 12 if you're alternating. So, just something to keep in mind. So, we've got lower body and, car and cardio combined into one exercise, alternated with upper body alternating exercises. So, that's what we're working today. Again, just hitting that variety, teaching ourselves all the ways our body can work. Um, we're going to do, like I said, eight exercises. We're going to have one minute rounds, 20 seconds off to catch our breath. And then once we get to the end of the eight exercises, we'll have a minute and a half break to get our water, catch our breath. I'll check for comments. If I see something I need to address, I'll pause the timer just to give us a little bit of extra time. Otherwise, that's exactly how we're going to be moving today. As always, modify if you need it. Um, I definitely understand the need for modifications. If I don't show you how to modify something and you need to know, drop me a comment, I'll check it. Um, or if you're doing this exercise um, or this workout after the fact, again, leave me a comment or leave me a message and I'll be happy to help you with that after the fact too. Um, let's see, add music if you need it. I don't have any music, um, but I will say I do have a fan finally. Um, I'm still gonna sweat like a horrible pig because that's just what I do, but fan. Thank you. So at least I won't hopefully pass out on the floor in front of you from, a, from heat exhaustion. So you might hear that humming in the background. Hopefully it's not too distracting. This is our first time using it. So bear with me. Um, I'll, I'll of course watch the video back and if it's too distracting, we'll figure out something else. So, um, but add your music on top and, and just enjoy the ride. Um, last couple notes as always, share these workouts, please. Um, get them out in front of your friends and family. Encourage them to move. Show them how accessible it is and that anybody can do it, right? We all have that ability. No matter what level we're at, we can do it. So share and encourage your friends and family to join in. 
Um, also, I have started a YouTube page that you can find by Strong Style Fitness. It's not the fanciest just yet, it's a work in progress, but if you have um, people that are interested that don't do Facebook or would rather not do Facebook, all of my workouts will be on YouTube. Um, sometimes immediately following, sometimes it might take a day or so to get it up, but I will get them up on YouTube uh, pretty quickly. And last, if you want to donate anything to me for these workouts, Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me, or if you're not a Venmo person, just hit me up and we'll find another way. All right, so enough of me. I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water. I'm gonna check for any starting comments and then otherwise we are going to get going. So we are gonna start with our legs and cardio first. So go ahead and mentally prepare for that. You don't need any equipment for our legs and cardio section. So just your legs, that's all you need. All right, I'm gonna grab a quick drink and we are gonna get going. Once we get going, again, we're looking at about 45 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock, unless I have to pause the clock to help with anything on Facebook, okay? All right, I'm gonna check and we will get going. All right, we're looking good. Hi, Kathy, good morning, good to see you here. Okay, so we are going to start with speed step out squats. So I'm gonna show you that and then I'll hit the timer to get started, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our feet to the center, we're gonna step out to one side, squat to the middle, it's not a lateral lunge, we're just stepping out, squatting to the middle and back, to the middle and back. We're gonna move at whatever your fast is, that's how we're gonna move, okay? All right, I'm gonna tell you when to start and then I'll join you just a couple seconds later. All right guys, let's get going in three, Two, one, let's go. Step out squats as fast as you can. The one thing I just want you to pay attention to is sometimes when we move fast, we start to move sloppy, right? So just make sure you're still using good form, that you're stepping out, that that booty sets back, weight towards the back of the feet. So fast doesn't mean sloppy. I used to say kickboxing all the time. We're still boxing. We're not flailing at the bag <laughs> for the sake of speed. Your modification is to slow down if you need to slow down. Don't squat as deep. If certain widths or positions bother you, then just step out differently. Step more narrow, step wider, whatever it is you need. We got five seconds. All right, we've got alternating overhead press. So you're gonna grab your weights. We set them up. Oh, that's right, we got 20 seconds of rest. <laughs> I was like speeding through. Silly me, sorry. So we've got alternating overhead press. We're here, one at a time, let's go. Alternating spine to play around with. Because, well, no, I'm not pushing every, both arms up every time. The arm that's not pushing up is still working, right? It's still holding that heavy weight in place. So it's not like it's a break for the other arm. Keep that core engaged. Make sure that spine is nice and long. Good, good, good. Where we're going next, just so you kind of can think about something else if your shoulders are getting tired, is we're going to do a standing knee drive on our left side. So we're going next. We got 10 seconds left here. So you're going to put that left leg forward. Again, we have 20 seconds break in between. All right. Set those down. So we're going to put our left leg forward. We're going to keep a bend in that knee. I'm just showing you, you'll hear the timer when to start. You're going to keep that bend. You're going to pump that knee forward. Using those runner's arms, keeping that bend in that knee. Let's go. You should get a cardio burst here. By keeping the bend in this knee, you are working that glute, that booty muscle. You're working that quad muscle. 
So what I mean about keeping the bend in the knee is you don't want to stand up. You're going to stay low and just pump that knee in. Use those runner's arms. If you feel like the cardio is getting a little too intense for you, if you're not a cardio person, you can drop the arms down and that will slow that cardio down. And of course, if it's still too high, then just slow your pace down, okay? 15 seconds. Stepping back with a light foot. Where we're going from here is an alternating, twisting bicep curl. All right. So, again, we got a break. I'm just going to demonstrate where the twisting bicep curl will be. As you're going to start in that hammer position forward and curl up to the top. So see how that weight's twisting? That's where we're going. All right. Let's get it. Shoulders back and down. Keep those elbows in tight. Right now, I'm doing my normal, but I would consider my normal weight. Just because I don't have an in-between, I have 15 and I have 20. If I had 17 and a half, I'd probably be trying this with these alternatings. Not that I'm not getting work right now, mind you. <laughs> Especially because we have three more rounds of all of this. But just something to think about. We're not all the same. But if you have a good halfway point, then give it a shot. See what you can do. Remember, what we talk about is that you can always drop the weight and go down mid-exercise if you need to. There's no rule what you pick up off the rack is what you have to do forever, right? All right. So we're going standing, knee drive, right side. So exactly what we saw before. Bent, stable, right leg, driving that knee in, runner's arms. Okay, five seconds. All right, let's go. Staying low into that leg. Remember, low is whatever low means to you. You're working out for yourself, not for somebody else. So if your low is lower than mine, do it. If your low's higher than mine, do it. There's no rules. As long as you're challenging yourself, that's where you want to be. You're not challenging me. You're not challenging your brother, sister, whoever. You're just working against you, for you. Whew, should be getting some burn in that quad, maybe that booty, maybe both. Make sure you're breathing. We have 10 seconds. And we're going to alternating tricep kickbacks. All right. So, tricep kickback. Now, this is heavy for me for a kickback. We're going to bend and kick straight back. But this is about a middle for me. Normally, I do about a 12. So 15 is kind of a middle jump. All right. So you want to be standing, chest pushing forward, a little bit of bend in those knees, a little booty set back, shoulders away from those ears. squeezing at the top. If we're starting to get tired, but you think you can keep going with the weight you have, if you just slow it down a little bit, slow it down a little bit. Honestly, I'd rather you go slower than we're just swinging weights at that point, right? Almost there, we're under 10. All right, so where we're going next is a little nod to my kickboxing. And we're going to change at the halfway point. So we're going to go front kick with our left, back kick with our right. 
Keeping those hips down. Let's not back kick this way. So we front kick, back kick. At the 30 second mark, I'll tell you to switch and you'll front kick with the right. Also, like I just learned, make sure you're far enough away from the wall. <laughs> you don't kick the wall like I just did. <laughs> We've got five seconds till we switch. Four, three, two, one. Pause, reset, right kick with the right, back kick with the left. Good, keep that belly tight. Keep those hips pointed down. So it's like you're pushing someone away, pushing them back, pushing them away, pushing them back. This is my get off me at the bar move. <laughs> all right, last exercise this round. We're gonna do alternating reverse flies. So we'll be here, shoulders back and down, set it back, and we open, squeezing that back shoulder blade. I'll show you from the back too. Let's open, open. So we're keeping a little bit of bend in that elbow. We're not straightening that arm out like this at the top. A little bit of bend. Squeeze between those shoulder blades. Good. I'll show you from the back. Okay, ten more seconds. Three. Nice. All right, we got a minute and a half. I'm gonna straighten my mat out here. <laughs> All right, gonna check for any questions, comments during this minute. Enjoy my water. All right, we're looking okay. I apologize here. I love this shirt, but it's a little a little big, especially up here, which is rare for me. So I thought my sports bra is just hanging out all over the place. So I'm sorry. Ah. I love it too much not to wear it, but it is a little sloppy. <laughs> ah. So we have about 45 more seconds. Keep catching your breath. Try to keep moving around a little bit. Don't just stand still. We're going back to those speed step out squats. About 30 seconds. Ooh. I gotta tell you too, this fan is making a world of difference. I'm still sweating, but I feel like I'm sweating like I would be in a class. Not a hot yoga class. <laughs> ah, best $17.99 I've ever spent. <laughs> All right, we got about 10 seconds. So go ahead and get ready. Get set up. We got those speed step out squats. All right, let's go. Just remember, we're still squatting to the center. Even though we're stepping out, we're not shifting our weight out over that leg. We're still squatting to the middle. Core nice and tight. Keep that chest up. I like to squat with my hands to the front, so it just reminds me to keep my chest up towards those hands. Make sure you're breathing. 15 seconds. Now we're alternating overhead press next. 10 seconds. Beautiful. 20 seconds. Catch your breath. Grab a sip of water if you need it. 
An alternating overhead press. Coming up next. <sighs> that minute and a half breath's good because it gives you time to slow your heart rate down, but not cool down, you know? Because you never want to cool down and go cool, hot, cool, hot. All right. This is also great to lower body work. It's usually going to get your heart rate up more than upper body. So it's nice to alternate because we get that cardio and leg work, we get our heart rate super high, and then we got it. It's still going. We're still sweating. Still have some cardio while we slow it down a little and work the arms. So again, it allows us to never really cool down, per se. We get a break, but we're not cooling down. 10 seconds. Woo, they're getting heavy. All right. We got that standing knee drive coming up next. I will take any opportunity to grab water. All right. Left leg forward. Permanent bend in that knee. Runner's arms. Pull it through. So on a light step back. You don't want a big thud every time you step back. Because really all your weight is still up here in that planted leg. So you should be able to step back really softly on the other side. And if your heart rates get too high, we're halfway there. You can take the arms out of the equation. That'll calm it down a little bit, or just slow your pace completely. Fifteen seconds. Woo! It burns. It burns. Ten seconds. Almost there. Five. bicep curl coming up next. It's crazy how that can get your heart rate up, right? You're not jumping. You're not running. It works up. All right. Twist and bicep curl. Shoulders down. Elbows locked to those sides. Squeeze into the top. So we're not swinging our weights. This is swinging. When we use our body, we're squeezing just through that bicep. For somebody who normally swings, and then you start trying to do the bicep curl correctly, your weight might go down quite a bit. Don't be alarmed. That just means that you're using the proper weight for what your bicep can really handle. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Oh, I'm in love with this fan. <laughs> oh, I hope it's not too distracting on the video. <sighs> nice. All right. <sighs> Let me know. Kathy, I think you're watching live. If you're able to, like during the break, or if not at the end, shoot me a message and let me know. If the fan is really loud, not too loud, let me know how it's how it's going for you. There is a higher setting, but I was afraid to get too much higher. All right, right leg forward. Let's pull it through. Keeping that bend in that leg. So we're not here. We're not standing. We're staying in that low. Pull it through. Again, your low is your low. You can go lower than me. Rock it out. If you need to stand up taller, stand up taller. Keeping that core tight to help you pull that knee through. Find yourself a focal point that'll help you with the bouncing around, get you a little off balance. Just find you a place to look at that's not moving. 
shoulders down. Set it back. Squeeze to the top. Make sure to relax those shoulders. Tricep kickbacks are one of those where you tend to tense up in your neck and your shoulders. So you've got to really actively think about it. Good job, guys. It's kind of fun to throw some of my old kickboxing stuff in. Push them away. Push them back. Four, three, two, one. Good job. We got that alternating reverse fly coming up next. Sweat everywhere. What else is new, right? <laughs> All right. <sighs> Set those shoulders back. Set that booty back. Weights come to the front. A little bend. Booty open. Remember, this is your shoulders, the backs of your shoulders that are working. Not your neck, not your chest, backs of the shoulders. Like you're trying to grab something with your shoulder blade. Make sure you're breathing. Looks like we are looking good. Ooh, we got about 45 more seconds. 
Right, keep catching that breath. Make sure you're having water. We get those speed step out squats again. Coming up in about 30 seconds. Yeah. Circuits are fun. There's a, there's a lot of good to them, and it's great. Again, you don't have to worry about reps. Just let the time do the work. So it's nice, especially if you're in a hurry or if you have a set amount of time, about 30 minutes. It's a great way to make sure you get everything in you want to get in in a set amount of time. All right, we're about to get started. Step out, speed squats. Let's go. Now I'll also say, um, if you're a knee pain person, sometimes, you know, moving really quickly, I'll speak from personal experience. Like I said, we kind of get sloppy, and we have to be real careful if we have knee issues to stay in the proper form, right? So, if you're going fast and your knees are causing you a lot of pain, then just slow it down a little bit and get mindful to how you're moving. Sometimes my speeds will vary. I'll start out really fast, and then be like, uh-oh, something's hurting. So I'll slow it down, reacquaint myself with where I need to be, and then speed it back. 10 seconds. Five. All right, all turning overhead press. Come in next. Twisting because it's sort of a meat in the middle. 
between a traditional curl, which is here, or a hammer curl that's here. We're kind of combining them both into one movement. Some people always bicep curl this way. So if you do, I encourage you to try the other ways. Because it's, well, it's all a bicep curl, depending on how you move that arm, changes where you hit in that bicep. And you get that nice sculpted bicep. You gotta hit it from all directions. That's my goal. I keep working on, how can I get better biceps? That's the one piece of me, well, it's it one piece, that's one of the pieces of me that I'm like, come on, come on, pick it up. <laughs> ah. All right, 10 seconds. <sighs> we get that standing knee drag, right leg. All right, bent right knee, weight all comes there, pull that knee forward. Low in that leg. Sweating in my eyes. <laughs> Goodness. Can't sing the praises that fan enough though, guys. Oh my gosh. You know, Charlie did make a good point. He was like, well, if you fall and land like in your stack of weights and knock all the weights over. We might have $10,000 in America's Funniest Home Videos. <sighs> 15 seconds. Hang tough, guys. I know it's getting tough. <sighs> 10 seconds. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> Indeed. Yeah, I'm right there with you. <sighs> 10 seconds with the alternating tricep kickback. Alright, lock your shoulders back. Set it back. Really squeeze into that extension. That's what makes this exercise effective. Just swinging your arm back isn't really going to do much for you. Good job. Long back for about 15 seconds. Now 
keep saying it, especially when we're getting towards the end, we're getting tired. You have to slow your pace down a little. That's okay. In fact, if you've worked out with me before, you know I don't encourage to move quickly unless it's cardio. It's time under tension on those muscles. You really want to work in like a one, two, three, four tight range. Now it's not always going to be exactly that, but always just kind of keep that as your guideline. If it's one, two, one, two, one, two, unless you are purposefully moving in that way, then you're moving too fast. All right, guys, last break, and then we are going to be all done. So we got a total of eight minutes of work, 11 and a half minutes on the clock, breaks included. Ah, let's catch your breath, feel good, get your water, get yourself ready. All you gotta do is get through one more of everything and you'll be all done. We got about 45 seconds. I'm going to do one more check in the video. All right. So we are looking good. Okay, we got about 30 seconds. Go ahead and tell yourself you can. Yes, you can. Absolutely, you can work out for 10 more minutes, right? It's nothing. 10 minutes in the whole skip your life. You can absolutely do it. 15 seconds. I'm just checking my timer. Sorry, I'm getting really close to the camera there. All right. Step out, speed squats coming up in seven seconds. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Last set. about circuit too. If you feel like you're getting too out of control, you're too tired, you really can't breathe, heart rate's too high, just take a break. Sit out a cycle, sit out of exercise, the timer's going to tell you when to hop back in when you're ready. Woo! All right. Standing knee drive, left side, overhead presses, done for the day. 10 seconds. All right. Good. Permanent locked end bend 
left leg, pull it through. Again, if you need to bring that heart rate down a little bit, drop the arms. Drop the arms and slow the pace. Whatever you need to do. Use those arms, get a little momentum. Right there. Ooh. Quad, booty, might be talking to you. Get a little flat if you need to. <laughs> 20 seconds. Almost there, guys. We can do it. We got 10. Five. Hang in there. Three, two, one. Good, good, good. Woo! Good job, left leg. We got those twisting bicep curls. And then I'm next. Yes, yes, yes. Also, you know, don't let that heart rate getting high scare you. Now, obviously, if you have heart conditions, things like that, please know I'm not telling you to not be mindful of your heart rate. But if you're a healthy person, no heart concerns. Sometimes when our heart rate gets high, cardio high, we get a little anxiety about it. And then that makes it get even higher. So, you know, never, again, obviously I'm not talking about medical conditions or true concerns about it, having a heart attack, just in general. When you're working out, don't get overly panicked if your heart rate seems really high, because then you're going to cause anxiety. It's going to get worse. So if it reaches a point that you're concerned, just slow it down gradually if you can. Never just sit down. Walk it off. Walk around. The more we get freaked out about it, the worse it's going to get. So again, remember, I'm not speaking on medical terms. I'm speaking about just normal, general exercise for your normal, general healthy person. All right, right leg forward. We pull it through. And yes, I'm talking a little more to distract us a little bit. <laughs> we're all tired, we might be getting, but you know me. I'm always a little bit of education thrown in with your physical fitness. I just think it's so important to understand what's going on with your body. Help you feel more comfortable about it. Help you use it to the best of its ability. Twenty seconds. in the back. those shoulders. No swing. Big squeeze. Big squeeze. We're under 15. All right. 
We had just two exercises left. We got a front kick, back kick, reverse flies. 10 seconds. Make sure you got enough space to your front, to your back, to not kick anything, anybody. All right. Front kick left, back kick right. Remember, it's more like a push, get away. Push, get away. Now a rock head kick. Dun, 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 dun. Big kick. Push, push, push. We're switching it out in five, four, three, two, one. Pause, reset. Right kick. I haven't done these in a while, so it's also a reminder, if you're feeling a pull, you get a back of your knee, just means you're probably snapping your leg too hard, so just shorten that push a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, I'll try and reverse flies, and we'll be done. Catch your breath. We got one last piece. We gotta get through. Good. All right. Let's grab this weight. Set it up. A little bit of weight. Open it up. Especially when we're in tired. If you're going heavy with this one, you really want to think about slowing it down if you need to. <sighs> this is one where you can hurt yourself if you're too heavy, you're not mindful of your body. So, slow it down, really think, really squeeze through that shoulder blade. 15 seconds. Under ten. Five. All right. Oh, Saturday. We did it. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, I'm sweating. My heart is pumping, jumping, but feeling good. Oh, feeling it's kind of that interesting. Tired but energized mix. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Oh, guys, I really, really appreciate you joining me this Saturday for this cardio, lower body, upper body, circuit training workout. I really hope you enjoyed it. Just another example how we can move our bodies, use our bodies with not much equipment and nothing but what we had at home. You know, I mean, there's wonderful things we can do at the gym, but if you're not ready to get back there, or you don't want to get back there, you like working out at home, there's so much that we can do here. So I just like to show you all these different examples to keep your mind open and to keep you excited about working out. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, again, share these workouts. I really appreciate it. Most of the time I don't see it if you do, so just know that I, I have a heartfelt appreciation and I really thank you for sharing it. And I thank you for being here with me. You can also go to YouTube, Strong Style Fitness, see my videos there. Live workouts aren't up there instantaneously, but they will be within a day or two of when I do them. And uh, again, just thank you. If you want to Venmo anything for these classes, at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. And uh, if you don't Venmo, just let me know. We'll figure out something else. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for taking an hour to take care of you, and I hope to see you Tuesday night at 6. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day, and take care. Bye.